The city of Tampa now has a new mayor. Today, Jane Castor took the oath of office, becoming the city of Tampa's 59th mayor. 10 News reporter Eric Glasser was there for her inauguration. Castor says she feels optimistic about the future of the city. So help me God. So help me God. And with that, Jane Castor becomes Tampa's 59th mayor, thanking and acknowledging the city leaders that have come before her, many of them attending today's inaugural. You have done so much to bring this city to where it is now. People are excited for what Jane's going to bring to the table. I'm excited to leave her a great city. Um, you know, if I had to pass the torch to somebody, I'm glad it's Jane Castor. Tampa is a city whose future remains bright. Castor's speech was optimistic, celebrating Tampa's story, promising to concentrate on communities that have yet to enjoy its recent investment and success. She celebrated the city's history and diversity. My hope that someday we will reach a point where everyone is judged by the content of their character rather than the color of their skin that no one, that no one loses their life because of the God they worship, and that who you love does not matter as much as that you love and that you are loved. Castor's nod to cultural inclusiveness got high marks from leaders in the African American community, highly critical of certain policies when Castor was police chief. Were they the wrong policy? Yes, they were, but it was made from a pure place. and. Uh, I've forgiven her, the city of Tampa have forgiven her, I believe the black community have forgiven her. We're the best city in the country, and I think Jane's just going to do fantastic things, and I'm awfully proud of her. Now Mayor Jane Castor says that she'd be spending part of the afternoon with her family and then getting right down to business. This afternoon, what will likely be the first of many groundbreakings, this one taking place at the Humane Society in Tampa.